This movie is kind of a throwaway review. It's just a kid's movie that they wanted me to watch with them last night before they went to bed. 2016 Monster Trucks directed his directorial debut, I might add, Chris Wedge. This is a Paramount and Nickelodeon Studios production. One hour and 44 minute runtime. I took limited notes because... It's a kid's movie, like my nine-year-old son said. Come here, son. Really quick, let me get you... Let me get you your... Okay, fine. Don't be in my review. That's how uncool I am. Anyway, hour and 44-minute runtime. This movie bombed at the box office, and I watched it on Netflix, so I do not have a visual aid. No DVD. It cost $125 million to make, and it only grossed $64.5 million at the box office, and it was generally destroyed by the critics come here son let's let's tell all of our friends over here in youtube land what you thought on your one to five scale for the rating of this it movie. was a good movie i gave it four out of five okay so this movie did it had an agenda if you watched my barbie review you know i don't like movies with agendas although whatever it was more of a climate agenda slash anti-fracking for big oil the movie is taking place in south dakota the title character, he's trying to get out of the small town. He works at a local junkyard that's ran by a guy played by Danny Glover of Lethal Weapon fame. Love him as an actor. Please don't do any more Lethal Weapon movies, Danny Glover. It's played out. Rob Lowe is also in this movie. Another classic 80s actor, St. Elmo's Fire, more recently Parks and Rec. And another 80s icon, Frank Whaley, loved him in Career Opportunities, directed by John Hughes. Highly recommend it. I also really like Frank Whaley in the mid-2000s Vacancy with Luke Wilson. Great villain in that movie. Love him in that role. Frank Whaley, if you're watching, we need more of you out there. I also enjoy Frank Whaley in the Field of Dreams Anyway, back to the monster trucks with an S. Because if I was looking for monster truck, couldn't find anything. Monster trucks with an S. 2016, it came out the year my <coughs> second born son Samuel was born. Anyway, it was very CGI. This movie could have been an ad for Dodge Ram pickup trucks. There is all the recent releases of Dodge Rams featured prominently in this movie. There, the movie basically centers around this fracking operation, evil big oil, and they discover this race of subterranean Loch Ness monster type creatures that feed on oil and they do not want any environmentalist group shutting down their operations. So the evil corporation seeks to destroy them before anybody finds out about it. You bring in the kid who's in high school. He has this early 50s Dodge pickup that he's restoring keeping it at this junkyard one of the creatures makes its way there they form a lasting bond kind of like in the movie uh never ending story the kid and falcor the luck dragon anyway it's basically anti-fracking environmentalist kind of undertones heavily heavy cgi and then the whole traditional played out storyline like a free willy kind of thing how are we going to save these creatures from our evil overlords and it's just very cheesy cgi the story has been done before in different aspects uh it was entertaining yeah you liked it four out of five but it just wasn't for me i just it just wasn't the kind of movie that i personally i watched it i sat through all of it uh that's not to say that i Things are falling and crashing. I have too much stuff piled up everywhere. IMDb, IMDb 5.7 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes, a lowly 32%. Google users are also shockingly low at 56%. And yours truly, I am 2 out of 5. It's just not for me. It just, I don't like the whole anti-big oil agenda that they were pushing. An impressionable youth such as this man here. And... I don't know. I feel like there's other movies that I could have wasted my time with on a Sunday evening. But that's all that we have to say. Do you want to add anything? Uh, uh no. <clears throat> I was just going to say that 
the reason I gave it four mm -hmm. because like the oil again. Yeah. Like the oil. They were drinking oil, which does not make sense to me because you know It is a fantasy yeah. movie, but I see where you're coming from. Yeah, like what? Drinking oil does not sound tasting good or and it's not good for you either. Yeah, we'll stick with water, won't we? Yeah. Until next time, folks. We'll see you then.